lot of you have already met each other. And of course, after this, everyone didn't have to run out the door. So if there is someone that you haven't met, uh, you can take an opportunity then and talk a little more. The last speaker tonight in eight to 10 minutes is going to give a presentation um, about uh, KM 2.0. And uh, we're very fortunate. He was recently at the, the World Knowledge Management event, and he's kind of bringing that back. I'll, I'll let him elaborate. But uh, Michael, and if you look at the bio, you'll see he's very diverse, uh, goes, speaks at many conferences, has many published, uh, uh, much published material. So we're, we're very fortunate. And uh, Michael also is a board member uh, with the KM Institute. So please. Thank you. I'm proud to be here. Yeah, I, I had the opportunity, I'll, I'll take care of it, um, to go. There was a, a speaker, I guess, uh, lined up. and. And uh, they had to drop out, and I happened to be at the KM World Conference last week, and the whole theme of the conference was KM 2.0. Did anybody get a chance to go to that? Okay, so all right, so uh, I thought, well, this would be a good level setting opportunity to kind of bring back, well, what was the buzz at KM 2.0, and give you a little bit, this is an earlier presentation I did a while back on uh, at least where I see and where some people are seeing, you know, the next wave of knowledge management. Okay, um, so uh, basically what I did is I started thinking about knowledge management, where we've come and where we perhaps may be going. It's just a maybe. Uh, CAM 1.0, this is sort of the late 90s approach. And this was largely around capturing and storing and searching on data, right? And so that was, we saw a lot of uh, data mining, data warehouses, document management kinds of solutions. Uh, was, it, was the kind of thing that cameras would sort of respond and say, yeah, but technology isn't about, or knowledge management isn't about technology, right? Sound familiar? Okay, and what's happening at least is with the social media and perhaps the social computing as you've heard or social networking technologies, these platforms are providing a, a venue for the kind of social interaction that I think knowledge, that has been at the heart and soul of knowledge management since its inception, which is really exciting. So this is sort of CAM 2.0, you might call it collective intelligence, right? This is where we're talking about collaboration, social networking, uh, you know, getting that universe of discourse and dialogue going, uh, communities, uh, storytelling and cultural narratives, and how knowledge is socially constructed. So where is it going? What, you know, what might be CAM 3.0? And this is, I think, uh, the idea of we, you know, we're finally going to be able to get our, our thoughts and our ideas into the world, um, our imagination turned into reality. And this is where I think we're seeing some movement in the metaverses, the virtual worlds, things like Second Life, um, and sim science, where you could actually do science in a simulated world before moving it into a production or real world environment. Um, immersive environments, the M MIT has been working on haptic technology for a long time where, you know, eventually we'll never have to leave, leave our couches. Won't that be a wonderful thing? Uh, I'm just going to skip some of these, but if you're interested in seeing the longer presentation. Um, so what, what is, so KM 2.0 is, is dovetailing quite nicely with the Web 2.0 movement. Uh, what is Web 2.0? Well. Many of you are probably very familiar with this. Some people it's new, so again, it's sort of level setting. These are blogs and wikis, podcasts, digital video, again, for connecting people, social networking, uh, collab project collaboration, communities of practice, virtual environments, social book bookmarking, news aggregation, anything that goes in the direction of connecting people and their knowledge. Okay? So this is very exciting because I think what we're seeing is, is um, well, Dave Snowden said, said at the conference in one of the keynotes, he said, KM is dead. Okay? It reminds me of that Mark Twain quote that, uh, you know, reports of my death may be greatly exaggerated. So perhaps uh, in KM is dead in its first iteration, uh, but there's been a new life breathed into it with the, with the emergence of social technologies and social tools and social media, which include the um, ability to share text, audio, and video in a very user-friendly way. I mean, this is, Adobe just launched um, its new Master Suite collection, for example, and it's geared not for digital artists, not for the people who do, it's, ge it's geared for scientists and educators to be able to take their knowledge and move it directly to a graphical environment. So that's exciting. Uh, just some screenshots for those of you whose firewalls prevents them from seeing some of these new social media tools. 
uh, Wikipedia, is everybody familiar with Wiki Wikipedia? Okay, if you're not, you should not raise your hand at this point in human history. <laughs> Okay, MySpace, this is a social networking site. Facebook is another very popular one. If you spend any time trying to get to know these systems, you'll find you're spending an awful lot of time getting to know these systems. So the real challenge from an organizational perspective is how do we work these and how can we gain some value from this from a business perspective? And that's one of the things that we're wrestling with at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. And one of the core themes of this conference, um, I will tell you, um, wikis, are, it, there was some Gartner, uh, Gartner group reporting that's, that basically said that uh, wikis had the, the greatest business value at this point. Second life, not so sure. But the promise is there. You know, that's the future. We all know that one day we're all going to have avatars in a virtual world because of the, just the, you know, it's, what, what did somebody say? It's, uh, there's no logistical costs, no overhead, no travel costs, and it's 100% green. <laughs> okay, so we're, you know that's that's the future, and it's an exciting one. But right now, wikis seem to be a, an, a, a you know have an excellent value proposition. YouTube, again, when when uh, user generated content is instantly creatable and accessible, and, and you can put it up onto the web, um, what a what a way to to share rich media and the knowledge that underlies it, and the culture. I mean, this is changing our, our the very fabric of our culture. LinkedIn, anybody on LinkedIn? Yeah, see, we're getting more and more LinkedIn all the time. Um, Tomoe, this is a community. This is one community to practice uh, platform that allows people to, to look to look at have discussion threads, profiles, and uh, connect across the organization in sort of virtual teams. I think is one of our uh, uh, contributors here. Uh, these are uh, social uh, uh, bookmarking or tagging sites that allow you to say, hey, these, these are the bookmarks that I think are interesting. These are the sites that I think you should go to. And you can start to share those lists, share your favorites, share your bookmarks. Dig what, this is a news aggregation site. It says, well, you know, instead of big media telling us what's important and what news stories are, are um, we should be paying attention to, we can use each other. So what is the internet looking at? What is the, the blogosphere? Okay, what are, um, uh, you know, what, are, what are just people looking at? And so it's, it's, it's that kind of approach. And Second Life, again, if you haven't, has anybody, has, every, has anyone seen Second Life? Let me ask you this, who has an avatar? All right, so this is a very progressive crowd. I think that's about, there is about 1% of the CAM uh, World Conference, and these are mostly technology people that had uh, avatars in Second Life. Here's mine. Uh, so, I'm not going to get into this too much, but basically, um, I think one of the things that I wanted to point out, I took Maslow's hierarchy of needs and said that, you know, basically you can look at it this way, that CAM 1.0 helps us with some of the basic needs, right? CAM 2.0 helps us with the belongingness and the social and cultural needs, and CAM 3.0 gives us voice, gives us the ability to, to uh, take our knowledge and dis distribute it widely. Um, and help to you know, self-actualize ourselves and transform our organizations. And that's about it for now. There, there's a, just a couple other things I think I wanted to say. Um, it, you know, again, it's the, the, the message being that, well, knowledge management isn't about technology, but in the world of, of Web 2.0 or CAM 2.0, maybe it is. But it's a different kind of technology, the, one, the kind of technology that we've been advocating for for years. Um, let's see, these are da, 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 uh, uh, book recommendations. I would say, you know, the, I think the key word that seems to be outplaying some of the others lately is social media. Um, there's a good book by uh, Dave Weinberger called Everything is Miscellaneous. I don't think there's a real leading book yet on social media. So I would say just kind of keep watching that space. 